They were so close. They were right there. I don't know what it is. Every time I attend an Indiana Fever game, it's just, they're right on the brink of winning. My blood pressure is high, but it's the most exciting atmosphere to be in. So the very first game I caught this season, Fever versus my Aces. The Aces in their experience, CP3 with her clutch free throws, we won out. But the Fever, they were in the game. Aaliyah Boston was banging with Asia Wilson, holding her own. She did the same today against the New York Liberty, against John Quill Jones. I mean, she really just, Aaliyah Boston is as great as advertised. She hit the three to send it into overtime. That comeback, they were down by, I think, 16 or 20 at one point. I mean, and they just chipped and chipped and chipped away. I will say this right now. Grace Berger needs to be a starter. She needs to be a starter. The Boston Burger, that is the best special in town. And quite honestly, I think that's the dynamic duo <laughs> on their squad. But the game was amazing. So took a day, took a vacation day to enjoy the, the game. Now it was definitely kids day, it was camp day. So hey, all the kids are out to enjoy the W, which is great for kids to experience that really young and just grow up loving the game and learning these players. And honestly, I did that as a kid. So very happy to just have taken a break. Like hump day is usually a difficult day for people, not for me. So a friend and I went, we had such an amazing just day. We went down to Tupelo Honey, so if you guys haven't been there if it's available in your city the sriracha chicken and waffles oh my goodness it's so it's just so great and she had never had it so i said come with me this is my favorite spot to get chicken and waffles sriracha chicken and waffles specifically so we had that and it's all in walking distance of gamebridge field house so that's what i really love about it so we parked walked to tupelo honey got food walked to the stadium amazing seats i love section 19 enjoyed a nail biter of a game down to the wire Aaliyah boston hits a three at the buzzer a three contested to send us into overtime even lebron james had to give her props so went into overtime they just couldn't pull it out but it was man i got my money's worth for that game so that's what it was uh for the fit so i'm actually still in it filming immediately as soon as i got home my signature WNBA bucket hat the Aaliyah Boston shirtsy from South Carolina. Uh, that's th Those are still available for the players on Under Armour's website right now. So I picked this up. I'm definitely Team Boston. She is undoubtedly Rookie of the Year. She's already an all-star. What more can you ask from her? Don Staley, listen, <laughs> he put some dogs into the, in the WNBA. They are... They're doing some amazing things when you just look at the entire uh, broad spectrum of players that come from that program. I have on my Playa Society shorts. I love these shorts to death. I also have the hoodie. Had on my double layered Nike socks, if you guys know about those. That way you don't have to actually double up your socks. But it just made sense to put these on. And my Sakai Clot LD Waffle <laughs> uh, pair and the pretty much that citrus and maroon pair so it, it matched perfectly it coordinated perfectly with what i chose to wear today so that might be the last w game i attend this year i'm not 100 percent sure may it, it might be i may not be able to make it to any others but i've certainly gotten my money's worth with the games i went to see i really wanted to have the new school the vans pair up for you guys here's what i discovered though i need to go up a half size and every other pair of Vans that I have, I can certainly wear my true size. Some of them I had no choice but to get a half size up because that's all that was available when I picked them up. And I'm looking at the Pendleton pair and the Bait pair. They only had, I think, a six and a half left in the Authentic. And that's the Authentic, like, 44 pair. But for this new school with the padded tongue, a Nike SB has nothing on the padding on this tongue. And trying it on... It's fine with thin socks. It is not okay with thick socks. It is not, 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 not okay. I live in the Midwest. I need to be able to wear super thin no-show socks and wear thicker stance socks and still be able to enjoy the pair and not just have it limited to just one season of the year. I didn't personally want that. And since I just got them in, there's no point in me suffering through. They are going right back to Vans and I actually have a six and a half already on the way, but they were everything I wanted them to be and I hope for them to be. So I'll have that up momentarily for you, but I really hope you guys are in enjoying the week if you didn't get a chance to watch my video on one of the most hated terms for at least myself personally right now don't sleep you can go ahead and check that out you can also check out uh the fact that there are some really great deals going on in clothing right now i shared that in the video in which i picked up some brand new fear of god hats finally have a red hat on the way really appreciate you tuning into any content that you do as always act your age not your shoe size peace